Hey YouTube, what is good, what is going on, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can build the shield, I'm going to show you all three locations for each part that it will spawn in and I'll show you also how to upgrade it at the same time, okay? So, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to support it with a like rating, if you're new around here, subscribe and also share with your friends in case they need to know how to build the shield itself or upgrade it, it might help them out and it'll help me out definitely, so thank you very much for that if you do it and without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Just before before we get into the video i just want to say a big thank you to mr lord spinkyham links for his channel will be in the description below and on screen right now because this dude is awesome we have been playing zetsubo no shima all day since it came out and we will he has found a lot of stuff out and he's done really really well and he's helped me out with a lot of this stuff like tell me where stuff is and all that good stuff so big shout out to him make sure to go and follow him in the description below and on screen now if you have not subscribed to him already i recommend it you will not be disappointed with it but without any more further ado let's just get into the video okay so with that said i just want to say lord spinky hammer has a great tutorial on how to do this he went through games and games of games of zetsubo no shima just to get the parts to spawn in each location to show you guys exactly what it is it's a great tutorial go and check it out if you prefer to see it like that but if you're not too fussed about seeing them in their exact location and just seeing the general location of which it would be in then you know make sure to stick around because the first location for the zombie shield part would be found right here on this pillar by the kuda if it's not here, you want to go over to one of these two pillars right here. It'll either be on this one next to the cage under lab A or on the right hand side of that last spot. And you can see on screen right now where exactly I'm showing you. So just go to the location and you should find it. It's pretty, pretty easy. And the next zombie shield part can be found around lab B. B and these trees there are three trees that this part can spawn on so just go to one of these three trees you can see on screen right now and you should find the next zombie shield part if you haven't noticed by now it's just the same as all the other shield parts in various different zombies maps basically it'll be in one area and it could be spawned in at three locations okay so just here, check one of these three trees and you should find it. Okay, so the third and final location is probably one of the trickier ones because you actually need to open up the bunker. So for that, you need to open the power source. You need to turn that on. So if you want to know how to do that, there will be a link on screen right now and the description of it on mobile. Make sure to go and check that out in order to turn the power on. So once you've done that, you need to go into the first door on your right on the bunker and open up that door, which will take you to the AA gun. And you can see, on screen now the exact areas of which this part this part will spawn in and once you have this part then you can just go over to a workbench and craft your zombie shield and then we can go and upgrade it okay so it's very easy to upgrade your zombie shield it's very easy and simple to do all you need to do is go to the school of nan sapway area the ritual table with all the schools on it you need to go back to that area and you will see the totem poles around this area and one if you're in solo will be lit up depending on if you're in solo or multiplayer or if you're in multiplayer all four totems will be lit up for each corresponding player or if you've got two players only two will be lit up but you need to go up to your one and you will see trials appear on your totem pole and what these trials are you know you just need to do the trials basically just do them trials and re and collect your reward from the center spot where the ritual table is and you will get either like a, a pack a, ma a max ammo power up sort of thing the second one will give you a weapon and the third will give you a free perk okay so once you have done that you complete all of them you've got all of your tri your trials done and completed you will then see lightning strike down on this on this area on this little ritual table area now it might not happen straight away it might happen like a few minutes after it does happen quite frequently though um, you just need to wait on top of this ritual area for the lightning to strike the area and then as soon as it strikes you need to bring out your zombie shield once you have brought it out you will see that your zombie shield will have electricity going all over it so you have now electrified your zombie shield and that is how you upgrade the zombie shield 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please do leave a like rating on the video. I would appreciate it so much. And if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more Zetsubo no Shima content and just DLC content in general. And if you have a friend that might need this, this tutorial to help him get this uh, upgraded shield, then please do share it with him because I would appreciate it and I'm sure he would do too. And that is it for me, guys. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and I'll see you all on the next one.